Okay, so for finding volume of pyramids, um, it's just like the volume of um, like a prism, but it's one third of that. So um, anytime you have a prism, we'll see. Okay, so it's the area of the base times the height would be the area of a prism. And so that would be like if it were just, you know, solid, um, not, um, not pointy, I guess, let's just say. But if it's pointy, then you're going to divide by three. So just like with a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder, um, a pyramid is one third the volume of a prism. So you first have to find the volume of the base. And in this case, the base is a triangle. And so the area, you want the area of the base, that's what that capital B is in our formula. So the area of a triangle is the base of the triangle, little b, times the height of the triangle divided by two. And so what we want to do is we want to get, um, we want to make a list of variables there. So little b, little h, this is a right, this happens to be a right triangle, that little um, box right there it means it's a right triangle. So you see the little box, the little square right there in the corner. That means it's a right triangle. So that means that these legs, this is the base and the height. So six and eight. So six times eight divided by two gives you um, 48 divided by two which is 24. So the area of the base, this one, is 24. Okay. And then we want the height of the pyramid. So the height of the pyramid is this one right here. So this 12 centimeters. So your height of the pyramid is 12. And so we're just going to plug those in. So I'm going to erase all this stuff here, give myself a little bit of room. And we've just got um, the area of the base we said was 24. I'm going to get a better color, maybe red. So and, uh, why do I have area there? Sorry, that's supposed to be volume. So volume, and it's light. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so volume is 24 times 12 divided by three. So four times 24, 80, 96, maybe. Mm, yeah, I think so. So volume, and then volume is always um, cubic. So it's 3D, so centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's how that works. Let me see what else, if there's any um, surprises here. See if that will help you be able to do all of these. Yeah, so this number two, you've got a right triangle as your base. It's going to be the same thing you're going to, um, and so notice that we're, we're ignoring that 10. That's not something we even need to use. That's not something to use. Okay, so the base and the height are just your legs of your right triangle. Okay, so that's what we've got over and over again. Um, when we get to number four, your base, your big B, is, it looks like a square. So seven times seven, so 49. And then, so again, 49 times eight divided by three. Anytime it's pointy, you're going to divide by three. So if there's any other surprises. Yeah, that has a square base. Number five, square base. Number six, square base. And I don't know about seven and eight, can't see them, but I'm guessing they're probably pretty much the same. So hopefully that helps and hopefully um, I can get it to you. All righty.